Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, 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 Vicente. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, hello Carla. Hello, Brandy. Hey, Brandy. What? So, are you riding a motorcycle tonight? <laughs> ah, no, it was only a picture, right? <laughs> <laughs> hello, Ruth. Hello, I Eddie. was a biker many years ago. Hello, hey. teacher. Hello, hello. Hey, Brandy, you're you're victim me in the class now. What is ah, dear That's Angel? <laughs> dear Angel, hey, Angel, how's it going, buddy? Hello, teacher. <laughs> you you hear Can't Brandy, you. right? You hear Brandy, right? When you <laughs> when you are not in the class, you say, "Oh, my my big thing is not in the class, right?" <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here. You hear it, right? Yes. Hello, Thank Evelyn. You. Hello, Hello, Ruth. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Hey, how how have you done lately? I mean, um, did you finish the activities in the platform, people? Yes, we finished. All of them? Or, yes, teacher. Or, or you're still missing the, the final test? No, I, I finished. Are you already finished? Okay, so yeah. Daniel, welcome, Daniel. Good to see you in the class, buddy. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Hello, Hi. hello, hello. Hey, where are you now? Don't tell me that you are at home because that's impossible, right? Today is Monday and I, I stay in my house. Ah, uh, uh, yes. This is like the third time you say you're at home. I went to the traffic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daniel, welcome. That's what's really matters on here that you are in the class now. Hey, I have 11 people and still counting, right? So look at the shirt that Daniel has. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry, isn't it? Look at the shirt. The Daniel Haas. Ah, that's right. Sure. Okay. Super, super Daniel. Super Eagle. Hey, da Daniel. Eagle. Oh my. Daniel, are you are you from San Miguel, Daniel? San Miguel. <laughs> no, I, I I'm from um, San Salvador, but all my family is from San Miguel. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> this ah, is the reason because I good. my team is Aguila. That's okay. <laughs> Good, good to know. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. And orange, I think orange is a good color for you. <laughs> yeah. And what about you, teacher? Tiger. No, no, no. Okay. I'm not, <laughs> you know. No, I mean, well, I like I of of course I like the way um football club um fast plays, right? Because but, you know I'm from Santa Ana, but Actually, well, um, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't like, I, I don't, I don't have, uh, I, I mean, I don't have too much time to watch the soccer matches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, so. Okay, excellent. Hey, you have like an activity tonight, right? Now I can see that you were that you were practicing during the during the during the the weekend, right? The weekend. I don't know we if were... you had problems with your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, Daniel, Daniel has a tongue ache. <laughs> Un dolor de lengua, dice que tiene Daniel. <laughs> and Brandy, I don't know if you were practicing the tongue twister. The, the, what did your family say? What did your family say about you? Maybe they, they thought that you were, that you became mad, right? Wow, Brandy became mad, or Vicente became mad. He's like, I live alone. Huh? Are you I live alone? Dead. Yeah. Oh, Brandy lives I'm alone. Only with three kitties, so. No, you don't have that problem then. My family <laughs> says, uh, which language are you learning? <laughs> <laughs> like an Arab. <laughs> Arab, I guess. Okay, that so that was really good. Cool. Now, well, you know, everybody's in church of saying a tongue twister in a pretty fast way, right? So we're <laughs> gonna clap your effort, okay? 
And we will see if it, if it was worthy for you to practice that, right? You know the meaning of the word worthy? Wor what? Worthy, what? worthy. I, I will type it in the in the chat. Maybe you don't know that, that word. Okay, uh, okay, Alejandro, I could, I could, I could see your, Word. I could see your message, Alejandro. Don't worry. Okay, we'll take it into consideration. Word. Now, tell me if it, if it was worthy, if the activity was worthy for you to practice English. No, worthy. No, no? was not worthy. Another, why why not, Brandy? It's it, it, it word is like a, a, I really don't remember what is worth. Okay, so yeah. Like como trabajoso? No, 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 no. Worthy. Como... Look look at the chat. The word is in the chat, and look for the meaning nope. of that word. Show the words. It, it's in the chat, and look for the meaning of that word. Worthy. Uh, like I'm asking, yeah. Was it worthy? Uh, oh, that yeah. Was, yeah, that, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah. it was, was yeah. worth it. I, I knew this word, but. Uh, <laughs> okay, so maybe that is you, a new word, right? Yeah, it's like a, when what? you talk with, with people from uh, like uh, Pakistan or this part, they use uh, many times like, uh, by the way, I did it. by the way, da, da, da. And we don't use this word. I uh, know. Is, is that new for you, worthy? Well, anyway. No, no, no. I mean, uh, I heard before, but I, when you never use some words. Ah, like... That is a problem. And, and Brandy, um, what Brandy says is, is quite important, right? Because when you, yeah, because when you, you know, when you find out vocabulary, I told you, right? Take it as a synth and put it into your mind. Okay, and keep it there. Sooner or later, you're gonna use it, right? Sooner or later. Of course, we're not gonna be able to memorize all the vocabulary uh, American people have, but at least uh, let us try to learn as much vocabulary as possible, right? You know, what is a physician? Physician, yeah, I know. What is? Is a person who takes care of, of the muscles of a person? No. If I'm not mistaken, what's a physician then? It's the other name that the people use for a doctor. Uh, all right. So <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right. Physician, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, people. Hey, well, you know, let's start with the tongue twister. Let's see if it if it was worthy, Vicente. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> I will. Um, you know, you know, I Flash, right? You know, Flash. Will... The, you know, Flash, the superhero, I know. right? You're I not know, gonna move. You're not gonna move your legs, but you're gonna move your tongue. So try to do <laughs> it like flash. Like flash. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I will try, teacher. Okay. Um, picky, picky people pick uh, Peter Pan peanut butter, and the peanut butter picky people pick. <laughs> That the strain. And the other. Uh, go ahead with the next one, Vicente. <laughs> the other is no need to light a night light on a light night like tonight. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> okay, that's fantastic. Congrats. I really Thank like that. Much. Let me see. Hey, people who almost never participate in the class. Okay, not the same people, right? I want to listen to somebody else. Anna Ivani, I want to listen to you. Angel. Let's see if you continue with that. Uh, uh, Anna Ivani or Fernando Alberto? Uh, Jessica, okay, I will choose my next picture. Hey, teacher. Who, who wants? Jessica. Yeah. Jessica, uh, almost... Uh, Elizabeth, because she was uh, sick last week. Ah, Elizabeth was sick, but maybe she didn't and Rafael know that Cruz too. Yeah, I share all the information. Are you sure this? All right, so no excuses then. So Jessica, right? 
uh, Elizabeth. Ah, Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth, are you there? Hello. Hello, 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 Elizabeth. So go ahead with your tongue twister, please. Okay. A loyal, a loyal warrior will rarely war. We, oops. A loyal warrior will rarely war by we roll. Two, right? Okay. We will switch, switch the sweet roots, twitches, <laughs> algo así. <laughs> Oh, all right, so congrats. Okay, congrats. <laughs> I hear that, yeah, that's right. Clap for hear it for. Repeat again. Okay. No, that's excellent. Yeah, it was really good. You have really to good. show you have to show your tongue if it is yeah, okay. It's all right. <laughs> and now you you name somebody else, right? You said Rafael. Uh, with both of Rafael, we have two Rafael. Okay, Rafael, go ahead with your tongue twister, please. Okay. No, we only have one right now. Is one the doctor, the doctor, another the doctor. That's the doctor. Who the doctor, the doctor. Doctor, the doctor, the way. The doctor is doctoring the doctor. Or does he the doctor, the doctor, the way, the doctor, who the doctor is. <laughs> okay, Congress, that was good. Let me see. Uh, you, uh, mention somebody else, please, because I don't want to be like the billion over here. It's a hospital in that. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't twist it. Don't I twist say it. Jessica. I oh, say Jessica, right? So Jessica. And I don't know the other people. I can see the camera. I never seen there. The, yeah, uh, this is true. Okay, Jessica is there, right? Listen to Jessica. Okay, I will try. Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter, so Betty bought better, bo better butter to make the bitter butter better. <laughs> wow, oh. excellent. Now, Jessica, is that the only one you learned? Yes, teacher. Oh, but, but oh, that was really good. Okay, congrats. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, is there anybody else? Gladys? Me, teacher. Ah, ah Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn wants. I wish I were I what I was when I wish I were what I am. Okay. What well, you are now. All right, Evelyn. Quite good. Thank you. Gladys? Okay, I will try. Okay. Because it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I, I, I told you to do so. Okay. How many cookies could a cook could a cook cook cook? Uh, a good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook could cook. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. okay, that was a good cook, right? The one who cooks a lot of cookies. Okay, that's a really nice, a really nice tongue twister. Hey, I, I had never heard about it, but that was really nice. Okay, now is there anybody else who wants to try those? If, if Evelyn, 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 Daniel. Susanna. Yeah. Okay, Evelyn, Susanna, go ahead. Javi, el mío. So yours, right? So that's about the, the yeah, butter, right? right? Yeah, that's right. Daniel, Daniel is missing. Come on, Daniel. Okay. My tongue twister said, how much good would a good... Yeah, give, give, uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You, you know about Flash, right? Or Superman, you know. Oh. <laughs> so try okay, to I do would, your best. <laughs> because I will try. How much wood would a wood would chuck if a wood would chuck, chuck wood? He would chuck with the wood woods as much as he could. Oh, no, oh my God. 
<laughs> wow, well, that, was, that was really nice. <laughs> okay, excellent, Daniel. That was really nice. Brandy, hey, I re Brandy, I really, Brandy. Brandy hasn't, hasn't said hers, right? After uh, uh, Angel, I will ask Angel. Angel, who, who follows, Angel? Who follows? Who's the next person, Angel? Brandy. But okay, Brandy. so Brandy. <laughs> revenge. That's your revenge, right? <laughs> Go ahead, Brandy. Okay, Brandy. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish the wish the wish you wish, I won't wish the wish that you wish to wish. I scream, you scream, we all scream okay, for, wish to, for wish to. ice cream. If a dog shoes, shoes, who shoes, he shoes. Wow, excellent, Brandy. You learned too. Fantastic. And finally, I think Angel, right? Go, Angel. Go, Angel. Okay, Angel. And after Angel, we're going to go over the activities, okay? Because I want to make sure that you have already finished with the, with the final test. That is something quite important, people. Okay, Angel, go ahead. Fresh fried fish, fish fresh fried, fried fish fresh, feed free. Fit freight fresh. And the other is can you can a can as a canner can can a can. Okay, excellent. Hey, you know, it's kind of funny, it's wow. very funny, but you know, it's not easy like to learn that a tongue twister in the right way, right? Besides that, you enjoy the activity, you learn vocabulary, you practice a lot because you are repeating constantly. I think Ruth Elizabeth is missing, right? Okay, Ruth, go ahead with your tongue twister. Susie works in a shoe shine in a uh, Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines she sat and where she said she shines. <laughs> so good. Yeah. And I don't know, but I I, I think Iris Concepcion is still missing, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Teacher, teacher. Uh, okay, Anna, Ivania, go ahead. Okay. Oh. Where the weather be fine or where the weather be not? Where the weather be cold or where the weather be hot? When, where, the weather, where we like it or not. Elena and Ivania, thank you very much. That was quite good. Okay, now I, I, I know that you investigated the vocabulary and also the, about the pronunciation and that was, you know, quite good. Now, is, if there is anybody else, we will continue. I can see Ceci in the class now. Welcome, Ceci. And, you know, we're going to go over the activities. Hello, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Okay, it's nice seeing you in the class. Uh, you know, let me see. I think I have a... Yeah, this is a point. You know, over here, we're going to get only a few exercises. You know what we're going to talk about? Future with both um, structures. Listen, no, 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 no. Give me it so here. Okay, this is this is the lesson objective. I wonder if there is anybody in the group who wants to help me to read. Me, teacher. All right. Thank you. The future things. <laughs> It's very small, but I will try. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, that do good. That do good. The future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to them to the future tense. English teach Joe since explain 
these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple form formula um sorry sorry <laughs> the last word <laughs> uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry uh -huh, from uh, as an answer question using going to and will as auxiliary verb and practice practice this causing your future plan for example an upcoming vacation holidays with family or even your plans for later in the day all right so as you can see we're gonna talk about future we already Going talked to... about yeah we're gonna we, we we already talked about simple past and also uh, the last week we were uh, we had some review about uh, the past form of regular verbs uh, you know about pronunciation right you explain about voiceless sounds and voiced sounds and the last uh, pronunciation of regular verbs in simple past is that right right and besides that, uh, we studied or we had the comparison about present perfect and simple past. So, you know, we have been dealing with simple past for a long period of time, like two weeks or, or so. And right now we're gonna go over future. I, I don't know if you, if you like to talk about your future, right? But over here, we are going to learn how to discuss plants and hops. But yeah, and hops. And you know, we're gonna go over the video as we usually do it. Okay. This is our topic for tonight. For tonight, sorry. And well, you you know what? The the only activities we have for this um section is 5.0, 5.1, and then we're going to have a 5.3. It, it should be like 5.2, right? But I don't know. Maybe there's a mistake in the in the platform. It's but missing. yeah, the, the 5.2 is missing, right? So, but we are gonna go over the video. And you know what? After seeing the video, you are going to, I, I, I will ask you to work in pairs so that you can investigate further information about future and be going to and will. Okay, but first we're going to see the information in the platform. They knows and try to provide some other examples. Not only the ones that appear in the video, right? Because it said future will be going to and will. There, there, is, there is a difference, right? When talking about future, when you use be going to, well, there are some rules. There are some rules that, that you have to take into consideration. And when you use will, well, it's about future also, but there are some other rules. Let us see. Let me know if you listen to it, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk. Yes, we listen. Thank yes. you. Thank you. OK, here we go. Pay attention. Talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not. Hey, what is that? What is the question? What is the sentence he mentioned? Uh, I I thought that he was. Uh, he said that he's not going to France. I don't know. <laughs> listen to it carefully. All right. Remember that the expression. We're going to listen. Uh, about it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's about be going to. Listen, listen, I will play it again because I want you to be sure about the sentences or the expression the guy is saying in the video. And your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my. Uh, what did he say? He's going to France. Go to France. I'm going to go to France. I'm going to go to France. Listen to it again, please, so that you can. You can notice that the guy is saying, I'm going to go to France. And your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for. Now, do you listen to it clearly? Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to France, right? 
So yeah, I want I want to go. That's the no. It, actually, it's not I want. It's I'm gonna go. Gonna is like you know. Oh, I'm an, going, an, an, going to. Yeah, contraction. It's, it's, it's actually it's not like a contraction, but it's informal way to say going to. Yeah, it's informal. It's like I wanna. Yeah, gonna. I wanna, gonna. Okay, and what the guy say is, I'm gonna get a friend. That's why sometimes we tend uh, not to understand American people because they use that kind of expressions. Listen. For my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but. What did he say in the second one? I don't know which place I will. I. Uh... What is the contractive form of uh, I, I will? will. I'll. Yeah. I'll. Okay, so you will notice that the guy <laughs> said it in the contractive form. I will play it again. But I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Listen carefully. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet. Uh huh. What do you listen to? I'm not sure what sure place it won't visit yet. I'm not sure which place I'll visit I know yet. Okay, so later you're, you're going to take notes on your notebook, okay? Like uh, having a, a, a dictation practice. You can do it by your own, okay? But I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. All right. What was the conversation all about, people? Uh, about vacation. Vacation uh, time. Conversation about, your... about two girls. Okay, what's the conversation between it the was girls? conversation they will have two weeks off and one of the the second one say that he will stay at home and watch movies and the second one say the the first one say that he will go to the uh, uncle house in the beach. Okay, Brandy. Now, the person said, um, I will stay home or I'm going to stay home? I'm gonna, uh, they might be going to stay. Going to stay. Yeah, you because. You will stay home. Yeah, yeah because I, I'm asking because, you know, there is a slight difference between will and be going to. I will play the second time. Okay, so that you can, you can pick, the, pick up the, some details about the structure the ladies are using, okay? If okay. they say, but okay, so let us write down the ones that you listen with going to and the ones that you listen to with um, be going to. Will. Why, why don't we do the following? All the boys in the class will take notes about going to structures and all the girls about will. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, but if the boys have, have problems, the ladies will help. <laughs> and, and vice versa, okay. So the the men will will check going to. Yeah, the boys will take notes about going to structures, and the girls about will. Okay. Okay, ready. 
Ready. Okay, Ready. I will play. I won't stop it. I won't pause. I, I won't pause it. Okay. So you gotta be careful and pay special attention to it. Surfing every day. I'll hang out with my friends and watch. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. All right. Did you get most of them? Uh. Well, I got four, four questions. <laughs> Uh, okay. It took now, another five. Let me see. I, I will ask some people some people over here. Let me see. Ladies first, right, Daniel? Daniel? Yeah, yeah I had that. La ladies first, first right? Yes, ladies, ladies first. first. You, you're, a, yes. you're a gentleman, right? I can see you're a gentleman. <laughs> That's why you want yes. ladies to participate, right? Don't confuse the deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now let's try with some people. Ceci. Ceci, did you get some sentences? <coughs> Ceci. So, sorry, teacher. Eh, no, no he llegado a casa. En unos minutos. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So that means that you... You were not 100% concentrated. Okay, Ceci, don't worry, it's all right. It is Concepcion. Sandra Noemi. Ana Ivania. It's to me? Yeah, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra Noemi, are you there? No, Elena, Noemi. Who, who's talking now? Elena. Elena. Ah, okay, Elena. Did you get some sentences? It's exactly the words that she say or a little reference. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the, the sentences with, um, with be going to structures, the ones that you hear with be going to. Uh, the first girl, she was talking about that she she watched movies, maybe uh, visited here her her friends. She's going to yeah. visit her friends. She will. She, uh, okay, she will. Yes. Uh, oh, ah, you are helping the boys then. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. There's somebody in the chat. Uh, I stay at home watching TV. Brandy. Okay, say it, Brandy. Nobody want to say nothing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Say I this took another thing. five. The first, I will stay at home. I'll stay at home. I'll stay at home. I uh, will fish on Monday. I will or he will, or maybe we, we will. We will. We will fish. We will. Oh, we will fish on Friday. We'll be fish on Monday. We'll yes. fish on Friday. Okay. Uh, they say Monday. <laughs> uh, Monday, I'm sorry. And the other say, uh, I will, I will, 
I would say soft surfboard. No. No. I said I I'll be too exciting to sleep. She said at the end. At the end, but I'll be excited I, to sleep. I called you. I called you. It was the other one? Then the last was. The last I'll, one. I'll call I'll you. Call you. All right. Okay. Very I'll good. I'll be. I'll be. I. I'll. I'll be exciting. I'll be exciting about what? About the event that they was planning. The event they 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 are planning. Okay. Is there any other expression? Was more than five? I catch up my reading. Okay, Ruth. Okay, Ruth, thank you. Was now, more than five, teacher? Yeah, more than five. I mean, <clears throat> no, but listen, let, let, let us let us start with the with the participation of the boys. We are going to show ladies that we got all the sentence perfectly. Okay, we're going to start with Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Okay, this is the situation about two girls with the plans for make or do something for the future future plans. And um, the first person, the first lady talk about or using the form will, and they says that um, if she want to stay in a, maybe I know on vacation, maybe on the house of his uncle, her uncle, sorry. So they um, say, they, so they say, I'm going to stay what what did she, what did they say? Or what did she say? Exactly, Danny. Because the lady, of... the lady, you know, the la, la, la señorita acá, yeah. la, la mm. dijeron completitas y cabal así como estaba en la conversación. <laughs> no nos quedemos okay. atrás nosotros lo, lo, los chicos. Okay, okay. okay. Um, one, one girl said that this part I can catch because she says and someone preferred to stay at home and watching the move. I, I don't know. In the in the other, um, the other girl wished to the make the vacation maybe in some part like uh, the the picture. Um, and that's it. I can catch some some that word. Okay, Daniel, look at the chat. Remember the, the, the sentences or the, the, I mean, the structure that you were in church of listening to carefully were about be going to. Who wants <clears throat> to help Daniel? Vicente, go ahead, Vicente. Okay, the first one. <clears throat> first one says, what are you going to do? Wow, and fantastic. That was the, that was the, the other... first one. Yeah, the other says, I'm going to relax. And they continue talking. And also a qu another question is, where we are going to stay? And the, others, uh, the other lady answer, we are going to stay at the, uh, he says, she says a hotel, but I don't remember the name of the hotel. And that's it. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent info. Okay, you see the boys, we also, we, I mean, we also have a good ears, right? Let me see, Rafael, or maybe let me see, or Angel. I don't know if you got um, something else. I just, uh, I remember I'm going to relax. It's I'm going to relax. Yes. Okay. It's just great. that. All right. Thank you very much. I think it's a uh, done. Now we're gonna continue uh, seeing the video and listening to the expressions. Okay, you have done done a great job. Remember, when you are exposed to this kind of uh, videos, try to get as much information uh, as possible. And if you if you um, if you like to do it, I mean, you can take notes about about the info. Okay. Now let me present the structure. 
what we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now, for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to f France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're gonna, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends, and they ask you, "So, what are you planning to do for your vacations?" And maybe you respond, "Well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't." bought the tickets, I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I will guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. In other words, who wants to um, rephrase what the, what the presenters mentioned about the difference between both of them? Because it's he... going to is for something that you you know that will be real. And when we use will is something that we have like an idea, but it's not like a, we, we, we are not really sure. That's right. That is right. And actually, as you can see over here, it says, will plus a verb is used for possible land or for possible plants, sorry. But these, these are just uh, only two ways to use uh, be going to and, 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 and will, because there are so many rules. There are some other rules that we should learn, okay? And use be going to, be going to, this is the other structure, plus a verb for plants, okay? We have possible plants over here, but over here we have plants. You got the idea? Yeah. And besides saying plants, yes. it also says you've decided on. So what does it mean? That that those plants are already uh, are fixed. I mean, you you uh, you cannot change those plants because you have already decided to do so. Okay. It is not the same like saying on Sunday, maybe I'll go to church instead of saying uh, I'm going to go to church on Sunday, right? So the meaning is different. Different, sorry. So what are you going to do now? When, when you, sorry. When you ask this question, you're asking the other person about plans that he or she has already decided to 
uh, develop or to perform. I'm gonna relax. So you see, at a beach, maybe he planned uh, this activity like the last month, okay? But that's, that's for sure that the guy is gonna go there in order to relax. We're gonna go surfing every, every, every day. I'm not going to do anything special. And as you can see, you can, you can also say it in a negative form. You can, you can, you can see, as you can see, you can get yes, no questions. Like, are you going to do something interesting this weekend? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. That would be like a yes, no question. You can have um, a double H like the one that you have here. What are you gonna do? Where are you gonna go? When are you gonna go? Why are you gonna go? I mean, you can you can create as many questions as possible, double H or just no. And then I'm gonna relax. We're gonna go surfing. I'm I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna do anything special. So you have negative statements. So it all depends on what you want to say. And on the other hand, you use will uh, plus a verb for possible plans. Over here, you're not sure that's going to happen, okay? Before you made a decision. What are you gonna do? I'm not sure. And over here is like another expression that's quiet. Oh, I'm sorry, stop sharing. And over here, what are you gonna do? I'm not sure, I, uh, I guess I'll just stay home. I get, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then I guess, wow, like two expressions that tell us that the guy is, is doubt, doubting a lot, right? And finally, he concluded by saying, I just stay home. Maybe, you know, maybe. And then he continues with, I watch a few uh, DVDs. I don't know, you see expressions about doubt. I don't know. I think I go camping. I think I go camping. I probably want, you know, the, the want is like the, the contractive form for will not. Will not. Will not. Yeah, will not. Will not go anywhere. Let me see, Daniel got a question. Daniel? Yeah, teacher, yeah. the... Um, that that two express two expression is maybe when you be going is when it's directly the answer or the in the other maybe said uh, with a long form for make a answer no. or or not no Daniel going to be going to it's an expression that you use when you are sure the activity is going to happen. Okay, and there are some other rules. And actually, you are going to look, you are going to look for that information. Okay, like for example, when you see the clouds that the clouds are dark, and you are almost sure, ninety percent sure that's that's you know that that is going to rain. So, so then you say, look, the, look at the clouds. It's going to rain. So you are not a hundred percent sure, but it is a, it, it is a ninety percent you are a ninety percent sure that you that, that that is going to happen. Okay, and also you can predict with going to. Okay, you can, but actually you are going to investigate about it. Okay, aquí solo nos presentan solo dos, dos formas de usar el going to y el, y el will. Okay. okay, es como una introducción en realidad. Ya vamos a terminar de ver el video, pero este, sí les va a quedar de tarea investigar qué otras reglas hay relacionado a going to y will. Ok, eso es tarea. Let's continue. Great, thank you, teacher. This, this expression is towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we 
talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, that's what I want to express. Um, and so, in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be, and then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form, and then whatever complements. So, like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe. Uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go. And then again, you might not. So if you're sure about it, then you're going to use the expressions towards the left. You're going to use be going to plus um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use, I'm going to go to Europe. All right, that could be um, your plan. But if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. Okay, people, now, you know, the time is, is almost gone. 
I will check the list of things. Pero antes de empezar a, a pasar la lista, este, quiero dejar tarea, ¿ok? Es, creo que va a funcionar si lo dividimos eh, por género. Los chicos nos van a hacer una presentación o van a investigar acerca de las diferentes maneras para expresar futuro. No es solo be going to y, y, y tampoco es solo will, ¿ok? Y nos lo van a presentar. Para las chicas, no, ellas nos van a explicar cuáles son aquellas reglas que no aparecen acá de cuándo usar y cómo usar will y be going to. ¿Ok? Y hay unas preguntas en el video que aparecen al final y esas sí son para todos. Pero creo que no, no sé si nos va a alcanzar el tiempo mañana, pero hay que estar preparados. ¿Ok? Eso es para el día de mañana. Ahí se los okay. puse en el chat. Ok. Ok, dijimos para, para los, los chicos, different ways to express future. ¿Verdad? Y para, sí. las, y para las señoritas y señoras, son más reglas de cómo y cuándo vamos a usar will y be going to. Ok. Ok. Vale, voy, voy con la lista, por favor, ayúdenme, en la medida que sea posible, que no, que no nos vayamos a, a quedar sin registrar su asistencia a la clase de inglés. Ok. Ana Ivania. Present teacher. Ana Yancy. Yeah, Angel. Present teacher. Ok. Brandy. Present. Cecilia Yamilet. Present teacher. Cristina del Carmen. Present. Daniel. Present teacher. Diana Stephanie. Elena Noemi. Present. Evelyn Susana. Present teacher. Fernando Alberto. Present teacher. Gladys Mavi. I, I saw Gladys. Present. Present. I, yeah, Gladys is there, right? Iris Concepción. Present teacher. Jessica Alejandra. Present teacher. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Okay, Carla is there, right? Kevin Alexander. Maria del Carmen. Hello, Present Maria. Present okay. teacher. Okay, Oscar Alejandra. Hello. Present teacher. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sandra Noemi. Present. Vicente. Here, teacher. Eh, Yanira. Present. And that's it, right? Thank you very much. Espero no haberme equivocado. By Anna Jansi, Diana Stephanie, and Kevin Alexander. Okay, you see no. Okay, that was quite good. Encontraron algo algo respecto a la tarea del día de mañana? Está fácil, está difícil, más o menos. Easier. <laughs> That's very easy, right? That's hey, easy. Hey, hey, este, les recomiendo que busquen ejemplos, ¿verdad? Ejemplos ya, mm -hmm. ya este, creados, ¿verdad? Teacher, I, I have a question. Fernando. Uh, what is the topic of men? The topic for the boys is about 
different ways to express future. Different? Different. It, it's in the chat. Vea el chat. Ahí está en el chat. Vale, lo voy a poner otra vez. Yo, voy tomé, a poner... yo tomé una J y ahí le puse una H y una M para las mujeres. En el uh, chat, en el WhatsApp. Ok. Este para okay. los chicos. Mi boys. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Así era? Yes. Vale, vamos yes. con las girls. Es más rule. YouTube. Vamos con las girls. Right. Rules, different rules, more rules on how to use will than be going to. Y para todos son las preguntas, questions in the video. Eso es para todos. Ok. ¿Encontraron algo? O, o pues todavía no han encontrado. Hay mucha info acerca de, cu de cuándo usar este be going to en, en will. Ok, también hay diferentes maneras de expresarse a futuro. Miren, para que no es complicado. Si nosotros decimos, por ejemplo, eh, ¿a qué horas pasa el bus mañana? A las seis. ¿Qué tiempo estoy usando? Oigan bien, ¿a qué horas pasa el bus mañana? What time the bus going to? El going to. What time does the bus? I will. No, no se fijan. Bueno, fíjate. Si yo lo digo en inglés, you what should. time does the bus leave? Does the bus going to? No. What time does, does the, the bus, bus leave tomorrow? Like... ¿Qué tiempo uso? Oiga, oiga. What time does the bus leave tomorrow? Leave tomorrow. What time does? Simple present. Ah, oigan, Jessica, ya lo, ya, lo, ya lo identificó. Estoy usando presente simple para, para referirme al futuro. O sea, si lo puedo hacer en español, también lo puedo hacer en inglés. ¿A qué horas pasa el bus mañana? ¿O a qué horas nos reunimos mañana? Ah, es diferente a decir a qué horas nos vamos a reunir mañana. Y es diferente también a a qué horas nos reuniremos mañana. Entonces, eso es lo que estamos estudiando ahorita. Para que se hagan una idea, que no vayan a pensar que es algo... No, lo mismo que tenemos en español, lo mismo lo vamos a tener en inglés. ¿Ok? Solo es que lo identifiquemos y que sepamos cómo, cómo usarlo. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Eh, es como, por ejemplo, también decimos, el domingo a esta hora voy a estar cantando en la iglesia, por ejemplo. Ah, vaya, entonces estoy usando otro tiempo. O voy a estar jugando al fútbol. Entonces, ahí lo vamos a descubrir. Si no hay consultas, nos vemos mañana. Ok. Thank you very much. See you. Okay. See you. ok, Gladys has a question. Tell me, Gladys. Uh, it's the same that I typed to, to you on Saturday, but it's supposed that I already finished the section five, but the platform don't allow me to, to pass. Okay. Ay, 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 no recibimos respuesta Mira. todavía, ¿verdad? Igual le vamos a ver. Fíjense que ahí, Gladys, no sé si solo a usted le sucede, pero no, no, ya no pudo avanzar. No, ya me regresé, y me regresé a donde están section one, two, three, four, como que inicio de nuevo a las cinco, y llego al final otra vez, y ahí tiene mis respuestas. Ahí las tiene, no las puedo cambiar, ya están chequeadas en verde, pero ya no me deja pasar. Va, entonces yo lo voy a notificar ya directamente a, al grupo de, de docentes y ahí están también los técnicos. Oye, Gladys, por si hay algún, alguno, al, algo que está este, obstaculizando el avance en la plataforma, que ellos lo puedan corregir. Gracias. Ok, Gladys, pues con eso nos quedamos. Y nos vemos mañana. Ok. Good night, See you tomorrow. Everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Thank you. See you tomorrow.